Hi, I'm Theo. And I'm Scarlett. And welcome to the Theo's Book Club podcast, where we talk about queer books. And the definition of the word belief. Hey. Today's book is The First to Die at the End by Adam Silvera. Make sure you check out our website, theosbookclub.com, where you can read more of Theo's thoughts on the book, you can find a link to buy your own copy of the book, and you can join the conversations in the forums. And if you're like Scarlett and prefer to read with your ears, you can check out theosbookclub.com slash audible, where you can sign up for a free trial and listen to all your favorite books. That's theosbookclub.com slash A-U-D-I-B-L-E to support the podcast. And the best part is, you get a free book download that you can keep forever. So please share this with your friends and family, like, and subscribe. Now, off to the episode. Queer books, and queer topics, and queer people that won't stop talking. So read and chat it up at Theo's Book Club. Hi. It's so creepy <laughs> when you look at me, <laughs> what do you want me and to just do? go, hi. I don't, I'm, every time I say hi to you, it doesn't end well. So now I'm self-conscious about it. So don't say hi. Oh, okay. So what should I say instead? The name of the book. All right. <laughs> That's how I'll address you from now on. Yeah, that's great, actually. Whatever book um, is on my mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Great. Tell me about um, it. Today's book is uh, The First to Die at the End. I wonder what happens. I wonder what happens. Well, actually, you get to tell us what happens. They die. <laughs> based on the cover. Oh, based on the cover. What is this book about, Scarlett? The First to Die at the End. Mm-hmm. First question, the end of what? And the first one to die doesn't necessarily mean at the end of the story. The first one to die at the end, like, if the event, whatever it is, ends, maybe the event ends early in the book. So, like, the first one to die could actually die in the first chapter, and the title would still be accurate. Anyway, but you want me to say what it's based on based on the picture? Yeah, that, okay. that was the original question. Let me describe the picture for the listeners. All right. Um, it's sort of a silhouette of a bridge. I think this is New York. I'm not really... I don't really know bridges that much, but if I were going to take a guess, I'd say New York. It and is then... New York. You're right. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. I do know bridges. What's this bridge called? I think it's the Brooklyn Bridge. Oh, I could Brooklyn. Be I've been there. Anyway, and then there's um, two people in the foreground holding hands in sort of a high five kind of yeah, way. Yeah, it does look like it. I, it does look like that. It does look like they're like playing patty cake a little bit. Or like, or like a mirror happening. game in an improv yeah, class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so based on the picture, I would say at the end of New York, one of them dies first. When you say the end of New York. Yeah, at the very tip. Just when like, you get to the end of right it. Of, like you're about to cross into New Jersey yeah. and one dies. And right before they get to the end of New York, <laughs> one of them dies. The end of New York. Yeah. Sounds like a band name. Yeah, that'd be a good band. It's the end of New York. The end of New York. Mm-hmm. I'm going to start that band. All right. What's I, your first single called? Hello, New Jersey. <laughs> yeah. All right. yeah, I don't think you got this at all. The right. B side, the B side oh, is okay. I prefer Ohio. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, that's yeah. funny. Um, you got this totally wrong. Oh wow, <laughs> I'm shocked. Yeah, but like it, sometimes it's like almost there. Okay, so what's it about then? Um, let me read it to you. The end of what? The book, the whole book. Oh, okay. And we're gonna read the book. No, no read the synopsis. Uh, yeah, obviously, it's oh, okay. Read. Okay, okay, okay. Also, for so everyone knows and so you know, this is actually a prequel to They Both Die at the End. No one gets to New Jersey. No. <laughs> at the end of New York, no one survives. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. So this obviously just came out recently, but it is the prequel to the other book. Um, different characters, different story. So. you're re- Wait, you're reading the synopsis from the cover? Yeah. Okay, Every everyone listening at home, close your eyes. It's story time. Get snuggled up into your bed. Because everyone listens to podcasts when they're like either working or about to go to sleep. Okay, so get snuggled up. It's story time. Okay, now right. do it ASMR. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but read. Welcome to the first night of Death Cast. Oh, what? <laughs> Scarlet's hooked. I love that RuPaul spinoff, Death, the Death Cast. <laughs> You're going to need to elaborate on that. RuPaul spinoff. Yeah, because you said death cast. Like, cast as if it's, like, a show. And I thought of RuPaul because it has so many spinoffs. What? <laughs> Keep reading. No, 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 no. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Doesn't Wouldn't that be a funny version of... Um, you're, you're saying you want a drag race... But, like, it's, like, gothy. ...spinoff to be called 
death cast? Well, maybe not that exactly. Like, that's not what the show would be, but that's how, like, people would refer to the cast. The death cast? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, did you see season one of death cast? And then you and then you'd be and you'd be like, oh wow, I loved the all black episode where they just wore black. But that would be like the whole season because it's like spooky and and death cast. Right. I'm gonna go back to this. Okay. Yeah. Suit yourself. <clears throat> Orion Pagan. That's the main character's name. Okay. Yeah. Already <laughs> so spooky. Pagan. Orion in the death cast. Yeah. Also great no, drag name. It, that is a good drag name. Orion Pagan has waited years for someone to tell him that he's going to die. Okay, but Pagan would be spelled P E G I N apostrophe. <laughs> Can, please continue. Please I will continue. never. The entire episode is going to be trying to read the synopsis. <laughs> now that he signed up for Deathcast to see if his serious heart condition will finally end him, he's ready to begin living. That's why he decides to attend a once in a lifetime event, the Deathcast premiere in Times Square. Getting an end day call is the last thing on Valentino Prince's mind. Another great I know. drag name. Yeah. <laughs> Valentino Prince and Orion Fagan. Yeah. So Valentino didn't even register for the program. His modeling career is about to take off, and he's going to spend his first night in New York at the Death Cast launch party. Orion and Valentino meet, and their bond is undeniable. But when Death Cast makes their first round of calls, everything changes when one boy discovers he's about to die, and the other's life will never be the same after this extraordinary, heartbreaking day. So... What's Deathcast? So Deathcast is actually introduced in the first novel. When we're introduced to this in the original, they both die at the end. This is something that's been around for like a decade. Okay. So what pretty much if you sign up for Deathcast, you get a call between midnight and 2 a.m. to tell you you're going to die that day. Why would anyone sign up? Well, this is what we're going to talk about today. Okay. We're getting ahead of the game. Okay. So it's like they don't tell you when or how. They just tell you you're going to die that day. And they are not wrong. Okay, um, but you didn't actually—you actually didn't answer my question. Because well, because the, the, actually that was the question I was going to ask you. Okay, would you sign up for Death Cast? No, because I don't understand what it is. I'm telling you what it is. But <laughs> would you not have died if you hadn't signed up? Yes, you just wouldn't be notified. Oh, so it's like like everyone's going to die. Like nothing. Like the plans exactly. aren't changing except now you know. Now you know. Oh, if you're signed up for the program, you will receive a call on the day you die, like the morning of the day you die. If you're not signed up, you will still die on the day you're meant to die. You just aren't notified by Deathcast. You don't oh. get your you don't get this call. Huh. Yeah. I don't I don't think I want that. No. Well, I mean, like, but this so in the original book, this is something like the whole world is experiencing, right? Like this is a thing that's it's been around for like years. And now it's just like everyone does it. And everyone and like most people do it. It's like a thing. It's like how the world works, kind right. of right. In, in this in this prequel, we see the first night this program launches. Oh, okay. So, like, everyone's skeptical. It hasn't been proven to work yet. Okay. Just with that knowledge alone, before we go into anything else, like, would you sign up for... No. Deathcast? I don't want to know. That would ruin your whole last day. Right. Well, see, and the argument is that it actually improves your last day because you know it's your last day. You can, like, say your goodbyes. Well, you can get your finances in check. You can... Now that you say that, I guess there's, like... Because there's, like... It's proven that if you know the ending of a story or you know the ending of a show mm -hmm. it actually increases the amount that you enjoy the show right so, like spoilers are good but did you hear that everyone <laughs> spoilers are good don't get mad at us but death's not like a story that's like no, actually something that happens to you so i don't know if i'd want i don't because it would ruin my day if i'm like oh it's gonna happen or but that's why it's so complex of a question because there is something to be said about like you know saying like actually getting that final goodbye um getting you know like i said finances in order mm. like making sure everything's set up you're not leaving anyone with anything unresolved you're not right you're like actually get to f experience your final day w what if you just um like just like lived your life that way though like oh, what, like I have your finances in order do you think this existing write, it, write a will <laughs> but do you think this existing and not signing up for it would make you live differently if this existed, say say we were say we lived in this world where death cast was a thing, right? And you didn't sign up for it, right? Would you still think change the way you live? No, I think I would. Why? Because everyone around me would be getting death calls, and it would be all I could think about all the time. Hmm. Right? I'd be like, I don't want to sign up because I don't want to know, but like, I think you would sign up. I think in a world where oh, most people have it's signed so up, hard to say. you would be the first one. You would me, be there. As, okay, drag me, drag me. Okay. No, I think I think. <laughs> I think in the world where where most people have it, I think right. you would have it. 
I don't know. I'm not saying you're wrong. I don't. I, it's so hard to say. I think part I would be battling myself all the time. I'd be like, do I sign up? And the way it's introduced in this prequel is you can sign up for like a day, a month, a year. It's very expensive. Yikes! Yeah, it's like a subscription thing. Yeah, I forget. I forget the original novel if it's still the same, but for sure in this prequel. So it's capitalism. Yes. On that note, we should take a break. (laughs) Do you wear clothes? How about shirts? This is a really cool one from everybody on stage. They're sick. Watch this. Wow! You've never seen someone put on a shirt like that before. If you want to get one of these cool shirts, go to everybodyonstage.com slash Theo and use the code Theo for 20% off. Theo's doing it. Capitalism. That's where we left off. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, it costs money. Oh, I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing. So the other thing they bring up in the in this in this prequel is like, do you only sign up on a day you're doing something adventurous? I'm like, I'm going hiking today. Do I sign up for Death Cast and find out that I, today's the day I die? Does it? So, but it, it like does knowing ever change the outcome? Like, no, if you're and like, this is the thing. So, so, so like, then why? So, why so would like, you do it on a day? So, like what, a specific but day? this is the thing that messes with my mind so much about this concept is no matter what. So, knowing and then all of your actions that you do because you know are what does lead to your death. Right? Like, say say I'm going hiking tomorrow, and I sign up for Death Cast. I'm like, I'm doing something dangerous. I want to know if tomorrow's the day I die. And I get the Death Cast call. Hmm. I'm like, great, I'm not going hiking. Me staying home is the reason I die. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I'm inevitably going to die that day. And the decision I made is always leading towards my death. So if I'm like, oh, I'm not going to do the adventurous thing today because I got my Death Cast call, the thing I do instead is the reason I die. Or, or the pattern of, of choices I make that die, day lead to my death. So, ju- so just don't do it and just like always be prepared for death. Right. <laughs> always b- elaborate. Just like always be ready. Okay. This is actually interesting you talk about to this. To quote Tim McGraw, live like you were dying. Mm, okay. Um, <laughs> it's funny that you bring that up because this is what I was thinking about reading the book was like, I would just be a nervous wreck every day at midnight. I would never get any sleep. I'd yeah. be like, am I about to get the call? Yeah. Like every single day of my life. I yeah. would be a disaster. Yeah. I would not be able to function. Maybe I wouldn't sign up. No, but if it existed, you would also be a nervous wreck that you don't know and that you're like yeah. you'd be like, Oh, I'm such a nervous wreck, I'll never know. So I th- I think you I think you specifically would be a wreck either way. Yeah. So this the universe where this is introduced done i'm done yeah either no matter what happens i am disaster yeah do you think you'd eventually get used to it like in like 10 years like say i sign up and 10 years has gone by i'm like am i still worried every midnight no you think i don't know i think i would be i think you'd be worried every few midnights maybe a couple times a month you'd really remember like how big that thing is but um no you'd get used to it you'd I know. I, I did make a note, too, reading it. I was like, oh, my God, like, the world is, like, severely changed for this. How do people just go about their everyday lives? Then I remembered <laughs> the pandemic that has happening. Oh, yeah. See, like, like when big things happen, just, you like, become... function in this, like, brand new world? And yeah. I'm like, oh, right. It's just like you do. We just, like, did it. Yeah. We are doing it right now. Yeah. I like this quote a lot from the book. Um, Freedom should be freeing, but that doesn't mean it can't be heartbreaking. Freedom should be freeing, right? But it that doesn't mean it can't be heartbreaking. Oh yeah, you do this. I agree. Time. Oh yeah, what that's, you... that's a really insightful response. Well, I'm processing the information. It's one sentence. I stand by my <laughs> statement. I'm processing the information. I have to take it in. I have to let it marinate. Uh, marinate. It, marinate. <laughs> marinate is the thing. I that have goes to let on, it right? be a marinade. Yeah, <laughs> and marinate. What kind of marinade? I don't know. Mm. I don't use marinades a lot. I always forget. You go, oh, you you cook just like. Well, plain. I you know I season yeah. I season my meats. Right. But you know because you have to do a, a marinade in advance. Yeah, I mean even if you don't, it's better than. But then by the, the time I get to the point meat. where I'm like I'm gonna cook the chicken now, I go ah I forgot to do the marinade. But I got to cook the chicken now, so not doing it. Sick. 
back to the quote I said. Okay. Oh, freedom. <laughs> is it is has it marinated yet? No, I forget what it was. Can you give it to me one more time? <laughs> freedom should be freeing, but that doesn't mean it can't be heartbreaking. Yeah, I the agree. The character is saying this in the statement. context of leaving his homophobic family behind. Oh. So he's saying like. Yeah, I feel free now. That doesn't mean it's not like a heartbreaking thing. How does the death cast? Yeah. What does that have to do with him being gay? Well, he just is gay. Okay. And this thing also exists. Oh, it's two separate. You, not everything has, like. <laughs> well, it just felt like a 180 when you were like, and then he had to leave his homophobic Oh, family. I don't know if you know this. We talk about queer books here. Oh, mm. wow. Yeah. What do you know? Characters are often queer. Okay, so even even in Death World, people are homophobic? I thought you were going to say, even in Death World, people are gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's really what I thought you were going to say. Wow. Um, yeah. Interesting. Well, this is a great segue. We say, every time we say, this is a great segue, I want a compilation of just those moments. Okay. But, um, well, this is the whole thing. So, the character Valentino, mm. um, your smile is beautiful. That's Valentina from Drag Race. That's all I can think about every time I read the name Valentina. Is that the one with the mask? Yes. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Take that thing off your face. I get it now. Yeah. Um, it talks about how, like, he doesn't believe in death cast. I mean, again, nothing has been proven yet. This is the, the first night. Right. It, no one knows if it's, like, what it is or if it's true or if the like premonitions are going to come true or if it's accurate. Right. Oh, is it, is it science or is it magic? Exactly. Nobody knows. Oh, like, nobody knows. We'll get okay. into that later, but, but, um, oh, gosh, he's, there's more. he says like, he, he doesn't really believe in that seeing as his parents like weaponize religion against him. Okay. Right. He has a hard time with like beliefs and like, okay. he's like, I don't, he's like, how do I believe in this like other unknown thing when like this other unknown thing that my parents believe in okay. is being weaponized. Right. Right. So, and and I think I thought a lot about in this book, not even religion, but like. Bo- Wait, let me clarify that he doesn't believe that it's real, or he doesn't believe that it should be used. Real. Okay. Or, or there's no way to know. Okay. It's not even that he doesn't believe it's real. He's like, how do I know whatever's about to happen? Whoever gets these calls tonight, mm. this first batch of calls, mm. how do we know like that it's accurate or real or okay. like what it's based on? Okay. Um, but this got me thinking about like not religion but belief, right? Mm. Like, how do we believe in? what we can't see how do we believe in something that someone's just saying like you got to trust me on this one i'm not gonna tell you how it works but just like believe me mm. right what are your thoughts on that it, 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 in what way <laughs> i don't <laughs> understand the question just like be- like belief like belief outside of religion like believing in what you what don't what know. about it what do you mean what about it like do i do i believe in I don't know what and you're I, asking me. I guess me. how do you how do you rationalize like belief in things you don't know outside of like a religious belief is what I'm saying. Uh, do you see what I'm saying? N- not quite. Still. Yeah, like like there's like you mean like 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 a a moral yeah set I guess of like guidelines I guess there's, you... there's there's things that you can and cannot see that you can believe in that aren't religious practices. S- can I have examples? Um, death cast. A real one, please. <laughs> I don't know. Like, okay, the pandemic, for example, right? Oh, a bunch of scientists said there's a virus. Do you believe that? Like, do I believe experts? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we, yeah. but there's like a tangible thing that like people who are good in that field are telling us, right? Right. Yeah. When you have someone saying, "I can't tell you how death cast works, but you gotta believe me on this one." Can what they not tell you though? because they're not willing to with? Uh, share the information or because they genuinely don't know how it's they're working not, they're withholding the information uh, yeah. okay okay how do you process that because I don't think I would believe it either if someone was like tomorrow was like in three weeks we're launching death cast I, we will know when you die and I can't tell you how I think I'd be like okay I'd like wait to see if other people do it. And then if it works, I'd be like, oh, okay, it, it works. Right. But like the way this sets it up on, on this launch night, there's like, like doomsday people, right? They're like, this is the apocalypse. This is the end of the world. This is the devil, right? Yeah. What did you go like? I don't know if I would take that strong of a stance until I started seeing it work. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't know if it would be announced. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm signing up. They're gonna tell me if I can if I die versus like this is the apocalypse this is evil, I don't I think I would be indifferent until I saw it either happen or not. Yeah, I agree. I don't. I still don't understand the question. I'm, well, we're just talking now, <laughs> oh, and oh, you're okay. not saying anything, so it's just me talking. 
Um, this is really great for the listeners. It's just kind of me explaining a concept a- to you. Explaining belief. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good um, stuff. Yeah, no, I guess I wouldn't believe it was real until either I saw it work or there were experts saying, here's how it works. But, but that's never an option, right? So then what? Well, then they see it happen on the first night, and then the next time you True. can sign up, they would go, oh, it worked. I'll do it. Interesting. This actually leads into, so um, in the in this book, we actually meet the creator of Deathcast that we didn't meet in the oh, first book. Oh, you meet the wizard. Mm. It's just a man behind a curtain. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just, it's just a, a Weasley little college boy in his garage writing a computer app. Yeah. Is it. that actually it? Am no! I right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's disappointing. No, pretty much um, the author, Adam Silvera, mm. has pretty much said he doesn't want to reveal to the readers how Deathcast works, as he doesn't in the book either, because okay. he feels like it'll take us out of the story. Interesting. So we don't know in the book really how it works. You there's can't like, see how the sausage gets exactly. made, otherwise you won't eat sausages. Yeah, he, he comments, there's like an interview with him at the back about like how people will then start poking holes in like the plot. If they know how death cast works. Right. Because knowledge is power. Right. <laughs> That's very insightful. I know. I'm incredibly smart. And yet, I had to explain belief to you for like 10 minutes. Well, no, it's not that you had to explain belief to me. It's that I didn't understand how belief was relevant to what we were talking about. I needed to understand Then you don't that. know what this book's about. Then. <laughs> no, I know. You're explaining it to me. <laughs> let's tell you what let's take a break while you explain belief to me yeah, again and then we'll, we'll we'll come back when i know what's going on yeah i hope you're enjoying the podcast so far we really enjoyed talking to you about the books today um we just want to take this moment to let you know about audible really fantastic service where you can actually listen to books you don't have to read how cool is that if you go to theosbookclub.com slash audible, that's theosbookclub.com slash A-U-D-I-B-L-E. You can start a free trial today. And the best part is you'll get to download a book and keep that one for free. So after you've heard it, you can hear it again whenever you want. Audible. Noise. <laughs> no, I'm, tr- I'm trying so hard to process the information. I don't, I, I don't understand what you're trying to get at. Belief, for, like, okay, like, you can have religious beliefs. Right. And then there's, like, belief in anything, right? The belief the bus is going to come. Belief that the sun is going to rise. Belief that... Okay. Like, believing in, believing in things you can or cannot see. What's the difference? Uh, I think here's, here's the disconnect, mm. is I don't think I would have called, like, the bus coming. I wouldn't have called that belief. I would have looked at the app and gone, ah, I see it's two minutes. I know it's two minutes away. And when it doesn't arrive, I go, ah, I see the app was wrong. I had the wrong information. That's not belief. That's knowing or not knowing. Right. But that, but I mean, that's maybe not the best example. Like we're talking about something that's like bigger than like someone's like, I can tell you the the day you die, I will not reveal how. Yeah. Do you believe in that? Like, do you believe what they're saying? In this in this situation, right. the first time around, I would not believe, and then once I saw it worked, I would be like, "Oh, I see that this works." Okay, this so is, I trust it. This is good. So you don't believe it. You see it work. You then believe it. Do you then sign up? No. You still don't sign up. I I don't think I want to know. So what is it like then for the family members of people who get the calls? So your closest family member gets the call that morning. Then what happens? The family member knows they're going to die that day. Yeah, and now you do too. Oh, well, then they let me know. We go over and, I don't know, cry about it. I wouldn't want them, like, honestly, I wouldn't want them to know either. Because I wouldn't want them. But then what if they do? Like, what if I sign up and you didn't? And I get the call. I'm like. That you're dying? Scarlet, I'm dying. I got my death cast call. I'd be like, okay, sick. Well, FaceTime for five. But then, I don't know, go see your family. (laughs) I'd be like, rip. Great. Rip, here's a card. Yeah, here's a card. Here's a card that you can look at for five. But honestly. You, you don't have much. It's going to be a short card. You don't have much time to read today. You got some other things to do. <laughs> I would spend my last day reading. I would just read. And the death by book. No, you would not. Yeah. <laughs> no, absolutely. You would not spend your last day reading. No, you would spend 95% about, of it crying about how you weren't prepared for that day. And then realize, oh, shit, I didn't do anything. And then be like, I have to call a lawyer. Okay. I have to call my mom. Drag me. Keep I going. think that's what happened. Drag me. And then you'd like die before you you know wrote the will, right? Okay, yeah. you have very high expectations for me. 
No, no I think those were low expectations, oh, low, yeah, yeah. actually. <laughs> <laughs> Very low. What would you, I'm trying to think of what you would do on your last day if you knew. Probably like. I pro- honestly to BTS wouldn't tell anyone. I wouldn't tell anyone, but I'd make sure my affairs were in order. And I'd. I... You would record a video, Will. Oh, obviously. Yeah. I'm not going like, to write it down. Hey, everyone. It's Nur. me from the beyond. Oh, actually, that's so funny. You I would. You would. Do you 100%? Like, I know for a fact that's, <laughs> that's what you would do. That's so funny. I'd be like, hi, it's me, the hottest dead. Yeah. Um, uh, if you don't know by now, I'm dead. I'm actually kind of dead. <laughs> um, These people can have all my money. It's right. dead. Joke's on you. Uh. <laughs> yeah. That is... <laughs> That's what that's what would happen. These people can have all my um, books. There's two. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I yeah. get I get your two. Books. You get my two books, and you're like, I gave these to her. She hasn't touched. Yeah, them. <laughs> these are actually mine. You gave them. <laughs> these back are actually to me. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what my will would be. Great. But yeah, no, I probably wouldn't tell people. Interesting. That's not. True. I would no no. I wouldn't tell people, and I but I would like go and hang out with them, and we just have like a really great day. Right. And but I wouldn't tell them. But and see, then, then I think I would know. I'd be like, you never asked me to do stuff. You're dying today, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. I'd be that's like, true. Why, why are we doing all this stuff? Are you going to die? <laughs> then I'd I would like, get very emotional. No, I and just wanted like, to read a book with and you. Then I would burst into tears <laughs> and you'd be like, you're ruining my death day. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That is what would happen. Or I'd spend it alone. Honestly, that sounds if way more fun. If you ever said, I want to read a book with you today, I'd be like, oh my God, you're going to die. <laughs> like, I would know within seconds. Yeah, true. Seconds. You'd give, you'd give it away. Yeah. You would not be able to go the whole day and not tell me. No, that's not true. I'm really good at keeping secrets. There's so many things you don't know. Okay, well, I, maybe I don't. Okay, there's to. two to three yeah. things you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that you will. You also forget what you tell me. That's so rude. <laughs> it's true. Even if it's true. It's true. The two to three things you think I don't know, you've probably mentioned in passing before. I forget the beginning of this podcast. And I think the middle, and maybe what I said a minute ago, also. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's no, because that's good. Because then when you watch them back, it'll feel fresh. Oh, when I watch them back, they're so funny because I don't know what's you're happened. Like, you're like, I don't remember recording any of this. Yeah, that's so true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you'd yeah. forget Deathcast even exists. You'd for you'd sign up and then forget you signed up, and then like five years later, you'd get a call and be like, Oh my god, I've been paying for this for five years. I've done that before. Yeah. Where I've forgotten a subscription and like, wow, I'm out like three hundred dollars. I forgot I had this app. Yeah. So yeah. you you'd be fine. You should sign up just because then you would know and you No, because I'd want to keep my money. You'd forget. No. Yer. Tell me more about the book. Okay, so Adam has talked about like wanting, you know, he's like for as long as I'm able to, he might want to keep writing death cast novels like this. And I mm. think there's a million options. I think he could do that forever. Right. Like there's so many options. Like this concept like he can do anything. I think he's confirmed a third one. He said in the back, it's a um it's a say? wills for dummies. Mm. Okay, I'd read that actually. That would be a funny merch option if it's like, if Deathcast were real. Here's how you write a will: wills for dummies by, forward by Adam Severa. Because like you would need a lawyer. Is he a lawyer? Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. I so. mean, he's an author. Maybe also a lawyer. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think so. Well, this is the thing. So I think the third one he's coming out with is a romantic thriller. Whoa. Which I'm very excited about. That sounds cool. What I, I'm trying to imagine what that would be. Uh, trying to universe. escape death. Yeah, I'm like maybe one of them. Maybe is... somebody does it. <gasps> I want to read that book. What with what? Someone escapes death in the Deathcast universe. Yeah, that would be. That would be. That would be. If he ever wants to reveal how Deathcast works. Right. That would be. I mean, that would be cool because it's like the way it's introduced. Like it's pretty pretty much right all of the time hmm. except so okay but it oh, being right all the time <laughs> it being right all the time and them not revealing how it works mm-hmm. is very like because Deathcast is killing you like they know you're gonna die because they're the ones doing it well that's not quite true no but that's what it okay sounds so then what are like. the legal repercussions of this system then if they've done a murder but they've not done a murder Deathcast is not killing you no but no but i'm saying that's what it sounds like it could be I like guess. if someone had a, con- a death cast conspiracy theory that's right. what it would be well that's the whole that's i said that though there's people that are like this is the devil this is the apocalypse this is the end of time i'm not saying devil i'm not saying like like uh supernatural kind of thing i'm saying like actually like a conspiracy someone has 
Yeah, I mean, the, the devil doesn't have to be supernatural. I could call a very evil man the devil. Okay. I okay. could call I could call a man claiming to have started death cast predicting everyone's deaths the devil. Well, sure, if you were describing someone, but when you don't say the man is the devil, and you just say the devil, yeah. it really sounds okay. like you're talking about a supernatural That's figure. That's terrifying. <laughs> okay, great. I'm just making it very clear. Anyway, um, I forget where the sentence started. Uh, beats me. Good I, job. It's very hard following your train of thought. No, it's not. It made perfect sense. I'm gonna let you watch this one back. <laughs> I think it made sense, and I bet there are people who listen to this who would agree with me in the comments. We said we did say legal re- repercussions, but what are the the book also explores the medical repercussions of this system? Like, um, spoilers ahead uh, in the book, Orion, they die. Well, Orion uh, has this heart defect. Oh, Valentino is actually the first one to get the death day call to okay. say that he's going to die. Okay, and um. He then says he's going to donate his heart to Orion because he's going to die that day. So then it's just like, unex- oh. yeah. So then it's like this unexplored medical field where they he's like sign his consent, but then has to like make sure he's near the hospital when he dies so that he's like he can still use his heart and like, and they have to like clear it with the medical board to like make sure this was a go ahead for the surgery. Like like what is the like that like that changes like the medical field as well. If someone goes to the hospital, I'm like, I'm gonna, I got my death day call today. This is the first positive thing about Deathcast that I that you have said so far. I think. Is it I positive, think that's though? I think that's excellent. You say that like I made it up. No, well, no, I'm saying like everything else. I'm like, oh, that sounds like I wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't right. want to do that. But this one, oh, that makes perfect sense. If you know you're gonna die and you've got a good whatever going on right. here, and you can give that to someone else who doesn't, oh, right. God, it's a great idea. Get mm-hmm. into it. But then that's the thing. It's like, so then what if I'm like on my, okay, I'm going to die today. I'm just spending the whole day in the hospital. Something there kills me. Maybe it's like an aneurysm. Well, yeah, you knew you were going to die. Yeah, but it's, but it's, it's, it's like, it changes the whole medical field. How? What do you mean how? Then you have all these people coming in today. They're like, I'm going to die today. You don't think the hospitals would be flooded with people being like, I, this is my death day. Yeah. But then they could say, yeah, we know. You're di- you're gonna die. We know that you're gonna die. There's actually nothing we can do. Well, the medical professionals don't have this information. They're going off the person saying that they got the call. They don't get like a list of the of the people. But if like someone comes in and doesn't have any symptoms, but they're like gonna die that day, then like the hospital can't be like can't do anything. <laughs> I I that, that that changes the field though. You're saying if I go to the hospital and I'm like I I got my death day call, they're like that sucks. Yeah, that's exactly what they would say, and that's what they should say. Right. You don't think people would try to like wait in the waiting room? You don't think people would try to get in for like? Surgery? I think they would try, but then I think you e- escort them out. Interesting. Because there's go there's die out you there. Could... Yeah, exactly. The there's nothing. Do? People die. People die all the time. This is the one thing. There's two things that everyone That's a very does. Interesting take. And it's you. You get born and then you die. Everyone does it. Okay. There's nothing. If you're gonna die that day, there's nothing the hospital can do. Yeah, but then what if you're like, I'm gonna die today. I'm gonna sit here so that I, my as soon as I die, my organs can be used for other people. Well, that's a great idea. Let's get them in. Let's prep them for surgery. So yeah, but you're this... not dead yet. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> well, you, 24 hours to prep them. I think it's a great idea. <laughs> okay. Any last thoughts on this book? I, I no, I don't know if I'm if you're ready for any more thoughts today. I could talk about this for hours. Oh yeah. Now that we're here, I'm excited about. I mean, I'm excited about the medical repercussions. That's a whole other episode. What am I supposed to do? Tell you the plot again? Yeah. Well, what's it about? Here's what Dreamcast is about. One Dreamcast. Of them- Dreamcast. The first one, to, the first one to die at the end. First one to die at the end. He gets a call first, and then they all go to the hospital. They don't flood the waiting room. They just respectfully say, "I'm gonna have surgery. Give this man my heart." And literally and metaphorically, because they fall in love, and that's how they all die. You did so good. Thank you. I'm not gonna say if that was right. Gold or wrong. star. Read the book. Also, I don't know if you noticed. This is a skull face. I did not notice that. Yeah. But that is spooky. Mm -hmm. Check out the cover. It has a hidden skull on it. Great work today. Oh, thanks. This is a good chat. I tried really hard. No, you had to. I was struggling there. Yeah. No. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Thanks, everyone. Don't die today. Kia's Book Club is executive produced by Greg Crothers for everybody on stage. This episode is written by Robert Papoli and Chelsea Jane Bray. Our producer is Denise Niles with production assistance by Alicia Tablin, directed by Greg Crothers. Our theme song is written, performed by Robert Papoli, and mixed and mastered by Rob Russo. Kia'sBookClub.com. <laughs>